here, I'm going to show you how to make partial match VLOOKUPs in Excel. And these are VLOOKUPs where we can match a part of a cell, let's say the first part of a cell, the last part of a cell, or look up something that comes in the middle of a cell. These are very helpful lookups, and I'll show you a bunch of different examples for how to do it. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. In this tutorial, I've got a sample data table over here, lookup column on the left, and some sample values on the right to return. And we're going to use this to do the lookups, where we look up a part of the cell. Now, let's go over here and start with a basic lookup at first, just to show you the potential problem. Let's say we're going to do a VLOOKUP on this value and this table array over here, return a value from the second column, and range lookup must be false. The examples I'm going to show you in this tutorial will not work if you use true for an approximate match here. And now we have a lovely little VLOOKUP. But for this table, it's not going to return anything because there is no cell that has just red in it. Let's say we change that to red, then we'd get a 2. But by default, it's not going to work. So for the first example, let's say we want to return the first cell that begins with red. We don't care what comes after the red, we just need it to begin with red. In this example, it would be this cell right here, so it should return 1. Now, in order to make these partial match lookups, we're going to use a special type of character called a wildcard character. And it basically just allows you to make your lookups more powerful. So if we go to this example here, we can leave it like this where it references the other cell, but we now need to add a special wildcard character after it. And that's going to look like this. We're going to use concatenation, so the ampersand, and then within quotation marks, add an asterisk. That is one of the wildcard characters we're going to talk about here. You hit Shift-8 in most keyboards to get that. It's the same as the multiplication sign. And what this means is to match basically anything. It says, I don't care what I match. I can match one character. I can match zero characters. I can match anything. Attaching this to the end of this value right here is telling Excel this. I want you to find a cell that begins with this, and if anything comes after it, that is OK. So when we hit Enter, we should get 1. Now notice that if it does not begin with red, let's go ahead and put a 1 here. This will no longer match. And we get a 5, because the next cell that begins with red is this cell down here. So it doesn't matter if a character touches the value that we're looking for, or like up here, it was a space. The only thing that matters is that it begins with what we're looking for. And as you already noticed, it returns the first result that it finds going from the top of the list to the bottom of the list. Now let's go ahead and find the first cell that ends with a particular word. So instead of starting with red, we now want to find a cell that ends with red. We're going to use the same wildcard character, but this time, instead of putting it after the value that we're going to look up, we're going to put it before, because we don't care what comes before what we want to look up. We only care that what we want to look up comes at the end of the cell. So I put the asterisk within quotation marks because I don't care what appears at the first part of the cell, then the ampersand, and then what I want to find at the end of the cell. Then we go ahead and finish building our VLOOKUP. And we get 2. So you put the ampersand where you don't care what appears there. Here, I don't care if something comes before this text. In the first example, I didn't care if something came after that text. And do take note, it doesn't matter if nothing comes in front of it. So if I go ahead and change this from stuff red to red, this will still return to. The asterisk just says, I don't care what's in front of it, not something has to be in front of it. So that is an important distinction. It allows you to also completely match all of the cell's contents. 
So now let's say we want to find a value that appears anywhere in the cell. We're going to use the same wildcard character for that, and you should start to kind of understand how it works now. I'm going to put this first because I don't care what comes at the start of the cell. I'm going to put this because I want to find it, but I also don't care if anything comes after it. Now we just finish our VLOOKUP. And there we go, green, because green comes right here. And once again, it doesn't matter if green is the entirety of the cell, it will still work. Partial matches can be tricky, but if you just get this down, these first three examples, that's going to get you 90% of the way there. And most of the time, you're going to use the asterisk wildcard character. And you're going to use it like this, because you usually, in VLOOKUPs, reference a cell that has the lookup value in it. So get these first three examples down, and you're pretty much all the way there. Now we're going to cover some variations on that, and then another wildcard character, and then how to include this in the lookup when you are looking for an asterisk as opposed to using it as a wildcard character. All right, let's move on to the next examples. Here, what I want to do is just to show you that these guys right here, since we're referencing a cell over here, we use the ampersand and the ampersand, and we put it in between quotation marks for the asterisk. But you don't have to do that if you hard-coded everything. I just wanted to get you comfortable with the idea that it would go like this. You would put the wildcard character within the same quotation marks as where you put the hard-coded value that you were looking up. So as I just mentioned, you probably won't hard-code everything like this, but if you do, the wildcard character right in here, it's just typed like that. No special characters before or after it. It is a special character, even like that. And it's the same for this asterisk here. And down here, we will have green surrounded by two asterisks. So I wanted to show it to you like this, because I think the first time that you see this, you think, OK, I'm looking for green with a multiplication sign and a multiplication sign. And it's going to work like that. But no, it's still a wildcard character. All right, now let's cover the other wildcard character. And this is a question mark. A question mark matches a single character. So let's go down here. And let's say that we want to match a cell that has the word red in it, just like this, R-E-D, but then it has one more letter after it. And I don't know what that letter is going to be. So you, maybe it wouldn't work so well with colors. It could work better with, say, part numbers, where you didn't know what the end of the part number would be, but it would just be one character. Well, then you use the question mark. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's look for a cell here that has the word red in it with one character after that. We have two, this one and this one. Since this one is first, it's going to find this one and return six. So let's write the VLOOKUP for that equals a VLOOKUP. And here we're just going to hard code it in red. And we type question mark then close the quotes. So the question mark is the wildcard character. Now, one thing I do want to point out, some people do find it a little bit easier to always separate the wildcard characters. So you could write it like this, where you use the ampersand and just concatenate both of these text strings, just to make it abundantly clear that this is a wildcard character. And yes, you can also do this with the asterisk, but you don't need to. Just leave it all as one, and we're good to go. Let's finish our VLOOKUP, and I'll show you how this guy works. OK, we should get 6. And we can change the letter here. We can change it to a number. Doesn't matter. However, this does not say match one character or match nothing. If I put something else at the end of it, it's now not going to find it. So it changed from 6 to 7 because this is now the match. It matches only one character. What if it's just red? Still no match. So the question mark says, I match one character. 
you give me one character. So this says, look for red plus one character, and that must be the entirety of the cell. Maybe we want to leave it at red A, and then we go back to matching this cell. So there are some particulars. You do kind of have to be careful with this. And just like we did with the asterisk, you can put the question mark at the beginning of the cell. It works just the same, saying I want to match one character at the beginning of the cell, and then it has to match everything that comes after that question mark. So nothing changes if we put it at the end or the beginning. It's just going to look for one character wherever you put it. If that sounds confusing, it's one of those things. Just play with it, work with it, do some example formulas on your own data set and see how it works with that. It might take you a little bit to adjust everything to get it to work right. But now let's move on to matching actual wildcard characters. So you can use another wildcard character to make these other wildcard characters normal characters. So let's go here and let's say that we just want to look for an asterisk. So I've got a cell here with an asterisk. If I want to search for that, we use VLOOKUP, quotation mark. This time we use the tilde. I prefer to call it a squiggle, but tilde. There we go. So squiggle tilde, then you put your wildcard character, and the wildcard character has effectively been negated. It is now just a regular character. It has no more power. We go up here, table, two, false, enter, and it matches four. So let's look, asterisk, four, perfect. Now let's say that we want to look for text that contains a wildcard character but has more text after it. So this right here, red with the asterisk and other stuff after it. This one's going to be kind of interesting. All right, go down here, equals VLOOKUP. Now we're looking for red. That's the easy part. Next one, we're looking for the actual asterisk, so tilde asterisk. Next thing, I don't care what comes after this. Another asterisk, no tilde in front of it. Good. Now table, column index number two, false, enter. All right, we get five. Let's look. Five. Perfect. Remove the asterisk and it will not find anything. Let's undo that, okay. So that's how you do that. You have a wildcard character here because it has no tilde in front of it. Then you have just the regular text character itself because it has the tilde in front of it. So you can continue to make this more and more confusing. Just follow the rules that I've showed you and you'll be okay. So let's do the same thing with a question mark. Let's just look for a question mark. Equals VLOOKUP. We want red, but then we want the question mark, the actual question mark. So squiggle, question mark, table array. Two, false, seven, and seven. Remove the question mark and we should no longer get a match. No match, perfect. So though funky, these wildcard characters allow you to make significantly more powerful matches with your lookup values. Partial matches are incredibly helpful and they take out a lot of data cleaning that you might otherwise have had to do. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.